Hi there and welcome back to another episode of the 32-bit rant and today we are looking at the Epson Calp Maker a piece of software released by Epson the manufacturer of all those printers and everything um, who had made this by 1995 and today we're going to have a wee look at it First of all it's important that the, the disc is in the drive and I need to get rid of those active channels. Ignoring that just now, um, we'll then go to the computer. If you can see that, okay, that is. We'll hear the drive spin up. And it comes up as EP card. And from there, we'll just install. Once you have installed the software, it's just dead easy. We just have to go into Start Menu and I can load up the software, which I believe runs from the CD ROM actually, which is great for space saving. Okay, one that nice. Can't actually see the bottom of it, that's a bit annoying. Come on, do something. Ah, okay, bye in a minute. Right, we'll probably try that again. Now that the display into 256 colour mode. So we'll go to the Epson card maker again, just to look at the same introduction again for it to. Hopefully work, I suppose. It's doing something. That was a good start. I think it's better pulling this down a bit. You can probably see the colours a tad better, but it's really hard to film this display because of the way it's backlit. Hey, what? Continue. There we go! Now we can make card things with it. Once it loads. Come on! I'll be back when it loads. Well, seems to be working. Let's try clicking and dragging. Happy anniversary. Now, can I increase the size of this? I wonder how one increase. What does this do? If I know how to work this software, we'll be doing great. Let's get rid of that. Can we get rid of it? Drag it down to the wee bucket. Don't... Ah, there we go. Uh, what, did you, what, what should I do? Happy Christmas. We're slowly nearing that time. Put, put a tree on it as well. And what else do we need to do? Put it in German as well. So I don't know German. Italian. If I knew what Merry Christmas was in Italian, I could click that. Oh, uh, just leave them as well. Yeah. Uh, what else do we get? So if I click down, you can get more pages. Oh, holy. Na nice. Yeah, there's near room for that. Right. So there we go. I've made a card. So do I go into the next page now? Do I get the next page? Am I allowed to put text in it? No, I'm not. If I take it after that, we'll just print it. However, I can't print it. But I'll be sure to do something with it. So do we, do we just save it now? So if I press Control and S, does it save? Nope. <laughs> Try clicking on them. Hold on, text controls. New cards. Oh, I'm just going to keep getting errors, aren't I? Right. I think, I don't know what to do with this actually, this is fun. <laughs> uh, so there we go. That kind of worked. I want out the program. Wait a minute. There we go. Made it out. Well, that was a relatively short video to say the least because I can't work the card maker. I probably should have practiced before filming. <laughs> So anyway, thank you for watching this rather confusing 
episode of the 32 bit rant and i hope to see you all again in the next one whenever that may be should probably have outro music that'd be quite a good touch yeah i'll do right goodbye